On the morning of May 15, 1941, the New York Yankees found themselves in fourth place, though star center fielder Joe DiMaggio could hardly have been to blame. At the time, the Yankees clipper was hitting well over 300 with an OPS approaching 1,000, but it was what he began that day that would transform the Yankees' season and move DiMaggio into a place very few ball players ever reach, that of a legend in his own time. Starting on May 15th, DiMaggio began a hitting streak that would last for two months. By the time he got to Cleveland on July 17th, it had reached 56 consecutive games. He had long since passed the Yankees team mark held by Babe Ruth, the American League record held by George Sisler, and the Major League record of 44 consecutive games held by Wee Willie Keeler set in the 19th century. A record crowd packed Cleveland's Municipal Stadium fully expecting to see DiMaggio get to 57. He nearly did it in his first at bat when he hit a hard ground ball down the third base line, only to have Indians third baseman Ken Keltner grab it with a backhand, throw across the diamond and nip DiMaggio by a step at first base. DiMaggio walked in the fourth and when he came up in the seventh he again hit a hard ground ball down the third base line. Once again Keltner grabbed it, threw to first and nipped DiMaggio. DiMaggio got one more chance in the eighth inning and hit yet another hard ground ball. This one wound up in the glove of Indian shortstop Lou Boudreaux who turned it into an inning ending double play. The Yankees won the game but the story afterward was the end of DiMaggio's incredible 56 game hitting streak during which he hit 408 with a 1.181 OPS, 15 home runs, and 55 RBIs. He also helped lead the Yankees from fourth place into first, and they would go on to win not only the American League pennant, but also the World Series. DiMaggio captured MVP honors that season, and the 56-game hitting streak was not his only impressive streak of the year. One day after Keltner's heroics ended his 56-game run, he embarked on a 17-game streak during which he hit 426 which means over 74 games from mid-May through early August, DiMaggio got a hit in 73 of them. And for the season, the longest hitless streak he had was a mere three games. Ken Keltner never reached the heights DiMaggio did as a Hall of Famer, but he was a fine player in his own right, a seven-time Major League All-Star in his 13 seasons. After stopping DiMaggio's streak that night in 1941, he needed a police escort out of Cleveland Stadium. Years later, Keltner acknowledged that someone had to be the villain in stopping DiMaggio's streak and said, I'm glad he hit them to me. DiMaggio surely felt differently. <laughs>